Diabetes Management How Lifestyle, Daily Routine Affect Blood Sugar Diabetes Management, Requires Awareness Know what makes, your blood sugar level rise, and fall, and how to control, these day-to-day -day factors. Keeping your blood sugar levels, within the range recommended, by your doctor, can be challenging. That's because many things, make your blood sugar levels change, sometimes unexpectedly. Following are some factors, that can affect, your blood sugar levels. Food Healthy eating, is a cornerstone of healthy living, with or without diabetes. But if you have diabetes, you need to know, how foods affect your blood sugar levels. It's not only, the type of food you eat, but also how much you eat, and the combinations, of food types you eat. What to do? Learn about carbohydrate counting, and portion sizes. A key to many diabetes management plans, is learning how to count carbohydrates. Carbohydrates soften, have the biggest impact, on your blood sugar levels. For people taking mealtime insulin, it's important to know the amount, of carbohydrates in your food, so you get the proper insulin dose. Learn what portion size, is appropriate for each food type. Simplify your meal planning, by writing down portions, for foods you eat often. Use measuring cups, or a scale, to ensure proper portion size, and an accurate carbohydrate count. Make every meal, well balanced. As much as possible, plan for every meal, to have a good mix of starches, fruits, and vegetables, proteins, and fats. Pay attention to the types, of carbohydrates you choose. Some carbohydrates, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, are better for you than others. These foods are low in carbohydrates, and have fiber, that helps keep your blood sugar levels, more stable. Talk to your doctor, nurse, or dietitian about the best food choices, and the appropriate balance, of food types. Coordinate your meals, and medications. Too little food, in proportion to your diabetes medications, especially insulin, may result in dangerously, low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. Too much food may, cause your blood sugar level, to climb to high hyperglycemia. Talk to your diabetes, healthcare team, about how to best coordinate meal, and medication schedules. Avoid sugar sweetened beverages. Sugar sweetened beverages, tend to be high in calories, and offer little nutrition. And because they cause blood sugar, to rise quickly, it's best to avoid these types, of drinks if you have diabetes. The exception is, if you are experiencing, a low blood sugar level. Sugar sweetened beverages, such as soda, juice, and sports drinks, can be used as an effective treatment, for quickly raising blood sugar, that is too low. Exercise Physical activity, is another important part, of your diabetes management plan. When you exercise, your muscles, use sugar glucose, for energy. Regular physical activity, also helps your body use insulin, more efficiently. These factors work together, to lower your blood sugar level. The more strenuous your workout, the longer the effect lasts. But even light activities, such as housework, gardening, or being on your feet for extended periods, can improve your blood sugar. What to do? Talk to your doctor, about an exercise plan. Ask your doctor, about what type of exercise, is appropriate for you. In general, most adults, should get at least 150 minutes a week, of moderate aerobic activity. Aim for about 30 minutes, of moderate aerobic activity a day, on most days of the week. If you've been inactive, for a long time, your doctor, 
may want to check your overall health before advising you. He or she can recommend the right balance of aerobic and muscle strengthening exercise. Keep an exercise schedule. Talk to your doctor about the best time of day for you to exercise so that your workout routine is coordinated with your meal and medication schedules. Know your numbers. Talk to your doctor about what blood sugar levels are appropriate for you before you begin exercise. Check your blood sugar level. Check your blood sugar level before, during, and after exercise, especially if you take insulin or medications that lower blood sugar. Exercise can lower your blood sugar levels even up to a day later, especially if the activity is new to you or if you're exercising at a more intense level. Be aware of warning signs of low blood sugar, such as feeling shaky, weak, tired, hungry, lightheaded, irritable, anxious, or confused. If you use insulin and your blood sugar level is below 90 mg per deciliter or 5 millimoles per liter, have a small snack before you start exercising to prevent a low blood sugar level. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water or other fluids while exercising because dehydration can affect blood sugar levels. Be prepared. Always have a small snack or glucose tablets with you during exercise in case your blood sugar level drops too low. Wear a medical identification bracelet. Adjust your diabetes treatment plan as needed. If you take insulin, you may need to reduce your insulin dose before exercising and monitor your blood sugar closely for several hours after intense activity as sometimes delayed hypoglycemia can occur. Your doctor can advise you on appropriate changes in your medication. You may also need to adjust treatment if you've increased your exercise routine. Medication Insulin and other diabetes medications are designed to lower your blood sugar levels when diet and exercise alone aren't sufficient for managing diabetes. But the effectiveness of these medications depends on the timing and size of the dose. Medications you take for conditions other than diabetes also can affect your blood sugar levels. What to do? Store insulin properly. Insulin that's improperly stored or past its expiration date may not be effective. Insulin is especially sensitive to extremes and temperature. Report problems to your doctor. If your diabetes medications cause your blood sugar level to drop too low, or if it's consistently too high, the dosage or timing may need to be adjusted. Be cautious with new medications. If you're considering an over-the-counter medication or your doctor prescribes a new drug to treat another condition such as high blood pressure or high cholesterol, ask your doctor or pharmacist if the medication may affect your blood sugar levels. Sometimes an alternate medication may be recommended. Always check with your doctor before taking any new over-the-counter medication so you know how it may impact your blood sugar level. Illness When you're sick, your body produces stress-related hormones that help your body fight the illness, but they also can raise your blood sugar level. Changes in your appetite and normal activity also may complicate diabetes management. What to do? Plan ahead. Work with your health care team to create a sick day plan. Include instructions on what medications to take, how often to measure your blood sugar and urine ketone levels, how to adjust your medication dosages, and when to call your doctor. Continue to take your diabetes medication. However, if you're unable to eat because of nausea or vomiting, contact your doctor. In these situations, you may need to adjust your insulin dose or temporarily reduce or withhold short-acting insulin or diabetes medication because of the risk of hypoglycemia. However, 
Do not stop your long-acting insulin. During times of illness, it is important to monitor your blood sugars frequently, and your doctor may instruct you also to check your urine for the presence of ketones. Stick to your diabetes meal plan. If you can, eating as usual will help you control your blood sugar levels. Keep a supply of foods that are easy on your stomach, such as gelatin, crackers, soups, and applesauce. Drink lots of water or other fluids that don't have calories, such as tea, to make sure you stay hydrated. If you're taking insulin, you may need to sip sugar-sweetened beverages, such as juice or a sports drink, to keep your blood sugar level from dropping too low. Alcohol. The liver normally releases stored sugar to counteract falling blood sugar levels. But if your liver is busy metabolizing alcohol, your blood sugar level may not get the boost it needs from your liver. Alcohol can result in low blood sugar shortly after you drink it and for as long as 24 hours afterward. What to do? Get your doctor's okay to drink alcohol. Alcohol can aggravate diabetes complications, such as nerve damage and eye disease. But if your diabetes is under control, and your doctor agrees, an occasional alcoholic drink is fine. Moderate alcohol consumption is defined as no more than one drink a day for women of any age and men over 65 years old, and two drinks a day for men under 65. One drink equals a 12-ounce beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Don't drink alcoholic beverages on an empty stomach. If you take insulin or other diabetes medications, be sure to eat before you drink or drink with a meal to prevent low blood sugar. Choose your drinks carefully. Light beer and dry wines have fewer calories and carbohydrates than do other alcoholic drinks. If you prefer mixed drinks, sugar-free mixers, such as diet soda, diet tonic, club soda, or seltzer, won't raise your blood sugar. Tally your calories. Remember to include the calories from any alcohol you drink in your daily calorie count. Ask your doctor or dietitian how to incorporate calories and carbohydrates from alcoholic drinks into your diet plan. Look for patterns. Keep careful track of your blood sugar readings from month to month. You may be able to predict fluctuations related to your menstrual cycle. Adjust your diabetes treatment plan as needed. Your doctor may recommend changes in your meal plan, activity level, or diabetes medications to make up for blood sugar variation. Check blood sugar more frequently. If you're likely approaching menopause or experiencing menopause, talk to your doctor about whether you need to monitor your blood sugar level more often. Symptoms of menopause can sometimes be confused with symptoms of low blood sugar, so whenever possible, check your blood sugar before treating a suspected low to confirm the low blood sugar level. Most forms of birth control can be used by women with diabetes without a problem. However, oral contraceptives may raise blood sugar levels in some women. Stress. If you're stressed, the hormones your body produces in response to prolonged stress may cause a rise in your blood sugar level. Additionally, it may be harder to closely follow your usual diabetes management routine if you're under a lot of extra pressure. What to do? Look for patterns. Log your stress level on a scale of 1 to 10 each time you log your blood sugar level. A pattern may soon emerge. Take control. Once you know how stress affects your blood sugar level, fight back. Learn relaxation techniques, prioritize your tasks, and set limits. Whenever possible, avoid common stressors. Exercise can often help relieve stress and lower your blood sugar level. Get help. Learn new strategies for coping with stress. You may find that working with a psychologist or clinical social worker can help you identify stressors, solve stressful problems, or learn new coping skills. 
The more you know about factors that influence your blood sugar level, the more you can anticipate fluctuations and plan accordingly. If you're having trouble keeping your blood sugar level in your target range, ask your diabetes healthcare team for help. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe.